good morning welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you for joining me so today we're going to attempt a backload challenge so we have four depots uh, one in Malaga one in Madrid one in Rostock and one in Denmark uh, I forget the name of the place it's in the northwest of the country um, but basically we need to try and find a, a load that will go back to one of those locations and if we can't then it needs to be in the general direction of one of those locations so we've just bought down 25 tons worth of beef from Denmark last night uh, so we washed out the trailer and we're ready to go and collect some more so let's see we're in Kassel in Germany at the moment so, yes, yeah, so we've got one depot here. Uh, uh, that's it, Herning is where my other depot is. So we've got to see if we've got anything that goes back in the direction of those. I don't actually see anything at the moment. Uh, Ah, so we've got one to demo up there. That's that's not far from base actually. We could do that and then run empty back to base. We've got so we've got either twenty five tons worth of beverages. Yeah, that's much further south. I think we're going to have to go here. So, this is our truck. Just finished on the bay in Lidl, so let's get it fired up. Get the aircon on. in um, Sanax's Volvo FH5 really quite a wonderful truck I do love this take a slurp of tea sorry oh. it's currently half past six in the morning when I'm filming this so excuse me if I'm a little bit quiet or a bit sleepy let's go pick up the load So the reason I thought of this is because you often see during the game, um, you know, when you get your AI drivers and they say, "Oh, so and so couldn't find a job, had to return empty." You're like, well, "Why couldn't you?" So the kind of secret, really, is if your depot is in a capital city. 
that's your best bet for success because it's unlikely you wouldn't find a job back to a capital city that's the best way when you start out by a depot in a capital city because that way then your AI drivers are always going to find work not all the time but most of the time because yeah most transport companies will not just let you roam freely around Europe and be like oh yeah go on then crack on there'll be a plan you might loop out somewhere but you'll eventually head back to base after a couple of drops or whatever so basically what I'm doing now is heading back in the general direction of base and then uh, what we'll do is when we've, when we've got this drop off we'll see if there's anything to go directly back like just a very quick local run if not then uh, we'll just have to run back empty from there but at least you're minimizing your your damage um, and I just thought I'd, I'd try this because it's, it's a little bit different you know, it's, it's very easy to just pick up a load and go oh yeah I'll drive over there it's easy you know and quite frankly everyone does that in this so I'm trying to do new little things just to you know keep you guys entertained and show you new aspects of what the game is capable of some nice builds to do in the next couple of days which I will do and open a new depot I'm going to do it in Ireland this time something different so yeah stay tuned for that um, and as always you know if you do like the videos please do like and subscribe I do two formats of videos so I'll do one where like this I will give commentary on it and then I do one where I will stay quiet and it will just be the truck so please let me know in the comments which variant you prefer and we will do that alright let's see way to do this is going to be put in here and then back down there so we'll just try and get a nice easy angle on it make it too hard for ourselves just watch those uh, IBCs over there Turn on. Come on. Get it turn around the corner. Come on. Come on. Right. Now we start taking it on. She took it off a bit too early. Taking it off way too early. Right. Or oh, even way too late, sorry. Not early. Right, we have to. Take a shunt and go at this again. Alright. Let's get that bend on it now. Come on. There we go. Bit round, bit more, bit more. There we go. Loaded, then we'll get up the road. Uh, just, uh, just under three hours till we need a break.
We're loaded. Let's go. She's heavy. to put a real season mod in this as well. Ooh, Christ. Yeah, I need to put a real season mod in this as well. Because obviously we're permanently in summer. Which is wonderful because I'm a summer person, but we do need to have some realism here. Okay. I remember coming in this way, but I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, I did. Let's see if it's a 460 I save. There's any troubles. It's not bad. For a 460 to be pulling like this up a hill, it's pretty decent. For those of you that don't know, I am also a lorry driver in real life uh, in the UK. Uh, I don't do it as a full-time job. Uh, I have my own career, but I do do it uh, as and when. Yeah, makes a bit of extra money, and also just because I enjoy driving. So, uh, I got my class two in 2018, and then my class one beginning of 2019 uh, after doing about six months of class two work class two is is rigid work so 18 ton as well you can anything up to 32 ton really and that's mostly tippers um, I didn't I haven't done any of that I've done mostly general haulage um, and fridge work really had a charmed life on the uh, on the lorry driving front. Um, I haven't done any of the cool stuff like uh, some of the guys out there that do all of the uh, European work on the you know conferences and stuff. Um, so yeah, mine's been fairly straightforward. Um, but yeah, the um, The class two work was relatively easy. <laughs> I have been into London, which has a lorry driver. I've done it in a class one and a class two. Neither, neither of which are remotely pleasant. Doing most lorry drivers, if they don't openly admit it, will secretly admit they hate being in London because, quite frankly, London is a zoo. Um, it's just, it's just a nightmare trying to get around there people all over the show. Attention. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, you let me out. I'm oh, nice one. Drive. Cheers. Let's go. Cheers, drive. Give you some tones. Alright. Anyway, let's get up the road. Yeah, 
apparently these uh, diamonds mean I have the right of way on that road. I think that's how it is in Europe. I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, let's get on the autobahn and head north. only got 2 hours 39 until we need a break so yeah means we're going to end up setting off very early in the morning that's what's annoying that's what's slightly annoying on this game and I think they should do something about it in terms of realism so when you opt to take a break it automatically gives you a reduced rest 9 hours and it's like why if I wanted to take 11 hours you know so I think it's uh, because with the taco laws and everything else you can only reduce I think it's three times in a week so yeah which is what nine hours is nine hours is a reduced rest so yeah I need to look at at that, I'd say. I'm aware that I'm speeding, but I'm not doing 60 down this bit, it's just stupid. So go up in a minute anyway. Um, I've got to climb this hill, so. And there we go back up to what it needs to be anyway. Again, I'm aware the speed limit on the German roads is 80 k's, but the truck can do 90, so I'm doing 90, otherwise it's just never get anywhere. Um, unless you want realism, this is realism. That being said, to make it very clear right now I don't condone speeding I don't encourage speeding and yada 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 and all that jazz it's a game calm down but anyway um, carrying on just to make it very clear as well this channel is a politics free zone there will be no talk of any politics of any kind on here you'll be pleased to hear this channel is dedicated to trucking, um, mainly European trucking. Um, I do have American Truck Simulator as well. well. I've got some mods for that, but to be honest, I just prefer playing Euro Truck. A lot of people are all into ATS and they're all about that, and you know, uh, did give me the views for a while, but um, I just prefer Euro Truck. It was the OG, and um, I saw the other day as well the release that Greece is coming on the fourth, so that's looking good, um, which is nice. Fourth of <sighs> December, so it's only a couple of weeks away. So I'll get that DLC as soon as it comes out, and uh, we'll get some videos up and running for that. I don't know what's going on with pro mods around that I would assume knowing pro mods they're working on a release uh, that will take care of of having that in because yes I do like having my pro mods installed it just gives a better experience of the roads in general um, you know and loading areas are a little bit more accurate and there's, there's just various like nice little things that just make a huge difference when it comes to things like that. But anyway, um, so we are. This is what I love about this truck as well. So this is Sanax's Volvo. Uh, it's a free mod. It's on Steam, um, and uh, I love the readouts from. Taco. So the bottom one is counted down to the destination. That's how many hours I am away from it. 
the one in the middle is how long I've been currently driving since we set off and then the one at the top is how long you've got until you need a break um, that's on the right hand side and obviously you've got the Odo and everything else as well um, you've got the Odo trip counter, add blue level, rev counter, speedometer and then uh, you've got obviously your um, I think that's your average consumption over 100 kilometers so we're burning through about 26 liters per 100 kilometers uh, and then we've got uh, your current and then how many Ooh. kilometers until we're empty so we've got about three quarters of a tank at the moment um, and considering I've already come from Denmark so I've already done a sort of 700 kilometer drive it's pretty good really uh, I do like how economical this truck is so I've done a few uh, fleet spec style trucks so we've got a um, an Iveco as well the Hi highways Iveco S-Way um, I'll do a video on that as well over the weekend get that out for you guys um, I'm going to try and do a few videos today um, just to sort of line them up for next week come on, come on, come on um, because a uh, very busy week at work next week so make sure you guys have got things out there for you guys to enjoy it's 26 so we just need to stop at the next services really because we are we are running tight on time we are half an hour away from needing a break so we could end up driving tired here which is technically it's an infringement right so got to be careful got to be careful let's just find the next services and uh, pull in and hope that there's space that's another thing as well in this game I think there's a mod for it you can do which is just like realistic services but yeah if you leave it too late in the day you will struggle to find space in the services that's the same in the UK it's the same anywhere the world over right I think that is the services there if I'm not mistaken I've only got 14 minutes left so I'm not going to push on past it I'm going to come off here sat and have go nuts but I need to find somewhere to stop and rest because we are very close to picking up an infringement here uh, yeah, 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 yeah I know, I know, I know, yeah Side at least this looks like a very big truck park here so we're now officially out of time so yeah had to stop could not have carried on now my question is how do we get in to that services Shout out if you see a way in. I know we're tired, I know. Alright, there we 
going. We don't need any fuel, so that's fine. I'm just gonna find a parking space. I'm pretty sure I've just gone through the no entry bit, but I'm at that point where I really don't care because I am that tired. So let's just do a spinning around here. These boys are going to love me pulling up in a fridge. Uh, where are we going to go? Yeah, let's go next to this guy. Actually, no, hang on. Let's go next to the container guy. some rest. Let's do a print out. If that happens to you in real life, don't panic. Simply find someplace safe and secure to stop. And then do a print out and write on it that you were looking for a safe place to stop. So you had to carry on to the nearest safe safe space. And that's what you write on the back of the infringement. Do two printouts, keep one on you, and then give one into your uh, transport office when you get back to the yard. It's all about covering yourself. Right, let's just do some checks quickly. Brake lights work. They work. Yeah, they work. Right. Unit lights work. Yeah, works on the unit at the front, rear, and at the front. Right. You're good to go. I'm pretty sure I've pissed everyone off in this service because my fridge would have been running all night. So everyone will love that. Right, we're going to go out the way we came in. Big truck stop that one. Oh, we've got just under five hours to go until we get to the destination. How many kilometers is that? Oh, it's only 400 k's. Off we go.
to go up and through Hamburg. line yeah so some new ideas coming to the channel like I said so I'm going to start doing these backload challenges um, I'll run them from each of my depots and see what I can do um, and then hopefully we can get something I'm just looking at my cat because she's laying on top of my PC at the moment and she's using the USB headphone input as a pillow. Can't just can't sleep. But yeah, so um, we'll look at doing some of that. Obviously, I'll bring you the new uh, Grease DLC when that comes out, um, which will be on the 4th. So I'll do a special upload that day because. Uh, which is a Wednesday because the next day I'm actually in Scotland uh, for my work's Christmas do so I've got a very long journey ahead of me uh, on the Thursday and obviously I'll be away the Thursday night so um, I will make the, uh, the video of the, of the Grease DLC on the Wednesday obviously it will come out my release will be on the Friday. Uh, oh God. It's deceptive that bit out of the way. Um, so yeah, so my video will be out on the Friday. So as to keep to my release schedule. Um, but yeah, do look out for that that will be an interesting video we'll take a run down into Greece um, I would assume it's probably going to coincide with the 135 release so hopefully it doesn't break too much of my stuff because um, obviously I do run with quite a few modded trucks so I have this I have the um, Highway Ibico and I have Mercedes MPV, um, I've got Dotex trailer, I've got Shumi's DAF as well, so yeah I've got a few mods, so hopefully it doesn't break them, we will see. Just to see when SCS are actually going to bother bringing this into the game. It's what annoys me a little bit, really, because American Truck Simulator now has had what one, two, so two new Max, the new Freightliner, plus what, the Western Star update as well. Um, so they've had like basically what four five new trucks in the last year and what's ETS had one if that the MAN the updated MAN where's the new Mercedes where's the new FH5 I mean it's not like this is even new anymore this truck's been out for over four years um, and so is the Mercedes Benz the Mercedes Benz has been out since 2019 2024, nearly 2025. Why have SCS not got it in the game? This is what annoys me slightly is the fact that I think that they do tend to focus too much on American Truck Simulator and not enough on this. You have to remember, don't disrespect your existing fan base. It's this fan base for this game that made American Truck Simulator possible, and they just need to remember that and not lose sight of it um, but yeah I think you know could do we get some more trucks in the game obviously there's the scan scan your next gens now they have 
new screens oh I'm sorry we've had the two electric trucks in this which I'm sorry electric vehicles are part of shit and before anyone goes I've owned one for six months and I got rid of it I will never have another electric car why because there's so many things wrong with them that people don't tell you about number one unless you've got a 20 kilowatt charging point at your house then they're not worth having because you need to charge it every day right there's all this crap that the dealers say to you oh no just charge it to 80 percent but don't let it drop below 20 percent so you're only ever using 60 percent of the battery the entire time that's like telling someone with their car only fill it to three quarters of a tank don't don't ever fill it up to a full tank no bollocks i'm gonna put the full tank in it i don't charge my phone to 80 percent and go oh yeah that, well, that'd be all right no i charge it to 100 percent. why because i need it there so there was that side of it which is complete shit makes no difference right but annoyingly the last 10 percent does take a good while to trickle into the car but anyway there's that then there's also like what we've got right now in the UK some cold weather that will knock on average about 25% of your range off of an electric car and the dealers tell you this this is all electric cars by the way this isn't just you know oh no it's just limited to a brand no all electric cars right and they don't tell you this they don't tell you that they send kids down into the mines to get the lithium that goes into the batteries for these things. They don't tell you that either. They don't tell you that basically when they say, oh yeah, it'll do a fast charge in 20 minutes. No. What that is, right, that is a fast charge on a 350 kilowatt an hour charger which you can only find at service stations which are fucking expensive right and if you can get on one that, that isn't broken good luck um, and that will only fast charge you to 80% and that's the other thing when you go onto these kilowatt hour chargers right in the service stations they have a tires online yeah yeah you know we've got 150 kilowatt hours uh, you know chargers blah 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 but when you hook up to it, right, if there is anybody else in the line of chargers charging their car, you won't get 150 kilowatts. You'll be lucky if you get 60. So, but you're paying a premium for that 150 kilowatt service. So I mean, it's all this bollocks that people don't tell you. Like, and they go, oh, no, no. And then, then when you don't get the range, right, because I had a... I, I'm just going to name it. I had, a, I had a BMW i4, each i45, right? Now, that was boasting a nearly 400 mile range. I was lucky if I ever got more than 220 miles out of that. You know, and I complained to the dealership about They were like, oh, well, you know, so you've got to drive it a certain way and fuck off drive a car I don't buy a car because well we have to drive it this way because you're not going to get your range if you're advertising your car's got this range then that's the range that it has otherwise don't advertise it as having that all of this BS of oh you know it's all these electric cars on TV now they're like oh yeah it's got a 400 mile range I guarantee you like fuck it has you'll be lucky if you get 300 miles out of it why? Because when they do these range figures, they do them at ambient temperatures of minimum, right? So to get the best performance, or for the batteries in the BMW that I had to be even able to perform anywhere near their quoted numbers, had to be a minimum of six degrees outside, which is fine in summer, but in winter, what are you going to do? So in winter you accept that you lose range. That's basically what I was told. 
in winter you must accept that you're going to lose range now bear in mind I bought the car in October I used it over winter and we didn't have a particularly cold winter we had a few weeks where it was you know very cool but March was warming up and uh, yeah no, it was crap absolute crap I just I was lucky if I was getting 200 miles range out of it right she's no good to me so I live about 50 miles outside of London 50 to 60 miles away from London right so whenever I was going into the office and back I had, you know, so I had to go via the petrol station on the way home and sit on a fast charge point to charge the car again because if if I wanted to use it the next day I needed another full charge it could not go to London and back more than once but yeah I could do that in a petrol car I could do it in a diesel car and yet people say electric is the future bollocks and that's what annoyed me about SCS with putting electric trucks in this for what? what? you can't own them that idiot doing you can't own them so what's the point but then why would you want to they're awful they're awful vehicles you know the whole point of me driving is the noise it's the sound that's what I like. Sitting there driving these electric trucks, it's just silent. It's just hideous, quite frankly. But yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to carry on ranting about that. I'm just going to say, realistically, they weren't two new trucks anyway. It was just a, oh, here's an electric, it's a gimmick. And then I like, oh, you know, we've worked really hard. You haven't. You haven't. You, you've done it as a shameless plug for the manufacturers and it's quite quite frankly it's sad so there's that there's also you know the I think literally the the, the man TGX3 is, is the it's the only one they've put in this that's new Everything else is still the same, but apparently in 1.53 they've done an FH4 update. Why? They don't make that truck anymore. It's this now. So it's like just you know put some money into Euro Truck for a change instead of spending it all on American Truck Simulator. You know they, they they put all of the best things in American Truck Simulator first. Oh, well, the live unloads, the uh, you know, oh, you know they st so in 1.53 they've said about um, oh you can haul things to their correct locations now. So fridge trailers can haul more products, bulk trailers will haul less. You know. But uh, they'd done that in American Truck Simulator months ago, months ago. But yeah, in Euro Truck, they, they're, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we, we've sorted that out now. It's taking you long enough. You know, I mean, that was one of the sort of fundamental things of this game, but I never really understood why they didn't do it, which was why they didn't have right from the get-go <clears throat> sensible freight routes but I'm not going to go and drop a JCB off on a bay am I an RDC right, so you know think about it a little bit I mean this game is 12 years old getting on for 13 years old now um, you know they supposedly upgraded the engine for both games but it feels to me like American Truck Simulator is going to get everything and this is just going to get left behind and they'll be like, yeah, we tried, but, you know, 
it's like, well, are you going to do a new release of this? Are you going to do a Euro Truck Simulator 3 on a brand new engine? Does SES need to do something? Sorry, but they do. I think this game has been far too neglected. And for me, I prefer it to American Truck Simulator because I've driven the European roads. I, I, I prefer the cab over trucks. You know, I mean, yes, as a tramper, you would prefer the American trucks because they stand up and walk around in them. But, you know, I just think this game needs to be given the respect it deserves. It was the OG, so let's treat it like the OG. Uh, what have we got? Oh, okay. That's a different. That's a different way around. Uh, right, Dave. Right, how are we going to do this? We have to, oh, we can't spin round in there, can we? Wow. That's knackered it. You know, I have to go around here and do a spinny. Just hope there's nothing on the base. Let's just have a quick look outside and see. So we go on over to the wall. Let's do a spinny. There we go. Try not to rip all the Susies out. There we go. Don't make it any harder for yourself than it has to be. Oh, I could have pulled into the car park. But then you've got that wall to contend with and what have you. It's just more ag than it's worth. Right, let's see. Let's get this tipped. We'll see what they've got in this area. If they've got anything going back to my depot or if we're just going to have to run back empty. Right. Let's get that tipped. Yeah. Cheers, love. Right. Let's go to the old cargo market. So we've got our house. It's a very fine house. So what have we got? Oh, it's going to a dent, so that's nothing. House in box, damages. Burger, Farman, Erfurt. Oh, no, so we're all back into Germany. Okay then, right, well. I have to go world map. There's the old garage in Herning. It's 99Ks. Let's go. Let's lift the axle up on the trailer so I'm not dragging that along. Set the trip counter so we can keep a log of the uh, unloaded mileage. So, this is now where you are running at cost. So let's go, drive. This is where we're now running at cost because we don't have a load on. So, shame, but it is what it is. Stay there, drive. Thank you. Let's go. Go right. Touch the curb a little bit there. 
Why is that telling me to go up and over? Surely I could just go through the middle, right? Yeah, I was going to say. people are wondering yes I have turned the fines and stuff off because it's just stupid you, you wouldn't get fined like you know four grand for being two miles an hour over the limit again so yeah. so as you can see the back globe challenge is it's actually quite challenging because all I had was something going in the general direction of where my home base was but I didn't actually have anything direct to my home base, town, city. Um, I didn't have anything direct to any of the others either, even Madrid. So, yeah, it's interesting. Um, definitely going to carry on with that challenge because I think it's quite good fun because it does, it it's, adds more realism because, yes, in real life, that's what trucks would do, like that's what transport companies try and do, or try and secure a backload, so wherever they're taking something to, they'll look to try and get a collection book so that when their truck comes back, it's bringing something back in the direction, so it's always earning money. Um, when you're running like this, when you're running empty, you're obviously not earning any money, you're just running at cost, because you're burning fuel, you're putting wear on the truck, but you're not hauling anything so there's no income from it so yeah, it makes it a little bit more tricky but I like it because it makes it more of a challenge you know can you get a backload direct to your hometown if you can happy days if not where can you get to how close can you get you know, fortunately, I've come to within, you know, just just a shade under 100 kilometres to my home base. So I was lucky. But if I'd have taken that pad board job, there's no guarantee I might have actually been able to haul one into my home place because I was that bit further away. So you don't know. It's uh, it, like I said, it's a challenge, and that's that's the whole challenging part about it. Is well, you know, how do we do this? So yeah, I just thought I'd do that as uh, something a little bit different for everyone, because uh, yeah, it's just changes the the dynamic of the game a little bit. And you know, like I said, it's rather than me just going from place to place which I'll still do, granted, but it just it gives a bit more realism to it. So it makes you think as well about where do you set up these depots? Because if you go for these tiny little towns that don't have much in them, or they maybe have one um, place in them, it's like, well, okay, it's great, but I'm not going to get a backload back there, am I? So, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I tried it yesterday, and I went to France, and uh, weirdly went to this small little village in France, and they had a backload for me coming straight back to 
to my home base. I was like, okay, that's weird, but fine. Right. So, let's. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. What's going on there? The game just went all funky. the cat laying on top of the PC using it as a belly warmer and it's choking the life out of my temperatures now. probably what it is let's go back over that way closer to the wall enough she still want to be able to get down to do the right let's do the legs right that's about as close as we want to get turned on actually. Right, let's just fill this up. Because it's always cheaper refueling at home base. And in real life that's what you do. Firms would prefer you do that anyway. Okay, so spin it around and then back it into the garage and that will conclude the video so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, like I said slightly different experience and idea uh, hopefully you found it fun and uh, yeah I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video I'm going to be opening a new garage and uh, we've got some new builds to show you so hopefully uh, you'll enjoy those too but uh, as always thank you very much for watching and uh, if you do like the content please do like and subscribe it doesn't cost anything and uh, I really appreciate your support so thank you very much for watching